educational, motivational, inspiring. Hello everyone, my name is Lumi and that was a dramatic intro. Before we start, I want to thank every single person that watched my very first YouTube video. If you didn't, you can click here or the link will be in the description box below. And special thanks to every single person that spent time and energy to give me a piece of advice or some feedback, especially this one. I know. I know. But I already ordered a microphone, so next time when we see each other, I can finally do ASMR videos. No. Now, with a better sound, don't forget to click like, subscribe and the bell button, and let's get started. As an aspiring or maybe already public speaker slash storyteller slash TEDx biggest fan ever, you might have noticed that although every talk is different and every speaker has his or her own style, there are still some main directions or main ways how to bring a message across the best. The book The Storyteller's Secret, Carmen Gallo speaks of five categories of storytellers. But please note, it's not necessarily either or. So as a storyteller or public speaker, you don't have to put yourself in a distinct box. It's more of a guiding lens that will help you to choose the best tools in order to achieve your own goal. First, storytellers that ignite our inner fire. Some of the examples are Steve Jobs, Mark Burnett, Joel Austin, Garden Summer, Tony Robinson, and many more. What is so special about them is that they all are so damn inspired by what they do. And this way, they send a crazy amount of energy to the audience. You look at them, at their perfect authentic presentations, at their mind-blowing achievements, and you feel so inspired. You just want to stand up from your couch or your chair or wherever you sit, go out to the world and create, inspire others and just do the world a better place. Little disclaimer, if you live in a self-isolation zone, don't go out to the world. Stay at home and inspire people from there. Hashtag stay home, hashtag stay safe. So how to achieve this effect? One of the most used tools are rhetorical questions or questions that make your audience contemplate. For example, Steve Jobs, what does my heart sing? Or Tim Cook's change the version, what do our hearts beat for? Asking this kind of easy yet very deep questions will make your audience pause, go into their minds and hearts and search for answers. And after giving them some time, if you as a speaker will come up with your own answer, a very honest one and not a cheesy one like, what does my heart beat for? It's for your dear subscribers. Then you will build a very trustful relationship between yourself and your audience. In the description box below, I will leave some examples for you, some links to some talks, so that you better understand what I'm speaking about. Second, storytellers who educate. Some examples for that can be Brian Stevenson, Bill Gates, Adam Levine, Sarah Blakely, Mami Sato, and many more. The main goal of these speakers is to teach you, come up with some facts, show you how some things work or could work. Many of them use their own success story to build a roadmap for you to achieve your own goals. Usually they bring you their personal tips and tricks and they use mainly visual tools such as graphs, prototypes, before and after pictures, case studies, and so on. Again, there will be some examples in the description box below. Third, storytellers who simplify. Some examples for that can be Richard Branson, Giada De Laurentiis, Chris Hartfield, Elon Musk, Charles Michael Im, and many more. The majority of these storytellers are either innovators, inventors, or they deal with very specific areas. Their mission is to explain you this complexity that they have to deal with every single day as easy as possible. I think Richard Branson explained it all the best. Quote, 
If something can't be explained on the back of an envelope, it's rubbish. Some tools that these kind of storytellers use are, again, visuals, especially pictures, because we all know one picture is worth 1,000 words, bullet points, very short sentences. Depending on your audience, you can also use some slang words and basically use your language level as if you speak to a five-year-old kid. An average one, not a mother kid. Fourth category are storytellers who motivate. Some examples of them can be Darren Hardy, Steve Wynn, Herb Kelleher, Amy Porty, Kate Cole, and many more. The stories or presentations can be very alike the inspiring ones, with the difference that the majority of them have at their background a tragedy. That means that the speaker either faced a big fail, a loss, an accident, or maybe had a very, very unhappy childhood. The big mission of this kind of storytellers are to motivate you, push you through your difficulties, never give up, and... The most used tool in this kind of talks is the mountain model, or the Everest analogy. There are so many names for this concept. The idea behind it is that you are standing in front of a mountain, you are very low or at the basement of the mountain, you look up, see the peak, and this is your goal. Now, if you have a deep mountaineering or watched any mountain movies, you know that there is never a very clear and easy path up. So in the whole speech or whole story, the storyteller tells you how they went through all these difficulties. Also, usually at the middle of the talk, there is this break moment where they are very close to give up, but something happens or someone happens and they just push it through till they achieve their goal. Some speakers would say that they didn't reach the goal yet or they're not at the peak yet so that you can emphasize with them and make again this trustful bounding relationship. Others would say that when they arrived at the peak they realized that that wasn't success and the whole journey is a success and then this peak will never be achieved. Anyways, you got the model. Last but not least are storytellers who lounge movements. Some examples for that can be Clarence Jones, Sheryl Sandberg, Malala Yousafzai, John Lasseter, Melinda Gates, and many more. These kind of storytellers do everything mentioned above. They inspire, educate, simplify, and motivate. The difference is just they do this with a very, very specific goal. Usually at the end of these kind of talks, you'll hear a very defined call to action. So no generic, be happier or make world great again, but join our community on. Donate to, let's help buy. Like, subscribe and hit the bell button for example. Again, the tools that they use are very similar to all the ones that I talked about before, but again, with a very, very specific goal. In the description box below, you'll find many links with many examples so that you can see how different storytellers use different tools. And again, it's never either or, it's more of a direction given. My question to you is, who is your favorite storyteller and what direction or category is your favorite one? But also, what else do you want to see on this channel? Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button. See you next Monday. Bye!